Hi, it's Ailish from Better Farm. We have Tony here to show us how we mix NeoCare. Right, feeding baby birds. Let's go through the basics of how we're going to mix NeoCare properly for baby birds from about a week old through to weaning. What's your mix going to be, Tony? Right, so on the back of the bag, it gives you some instructions. You start with one scoop of the NeoCare, one large scoop of the NeoCare powder and a large scoop of hot boiling water. Can we get some boiling water, please, Eilish? Okay. So start with boiling water because you'll find it makes the mixing a lot easier. Some people will start with cold water and it will create a slower mix. So that's one large scoop there. Now, the trick to mixing Neocare is to use a fork. It says it again, says it on the bag, but use a fork. And just start mixing till you get what I call a peanut butter look. Why do you use a fork and not a spoon? Right, if you use a spoon, what you'll find is you'll get little lumps in the mix and using the prongs of the fork to pick the mix up and then squeeze it through the prongs of the fork like so. So the motion is down and squeeze. What, you, what that does is break up the little lumps that are formed naturally. It's, not a, it's an action of when the water hits the mix. The, there's, there aren't any lumps in the mix as such, but when the water hits it, it creates little balls. And by using that process, you break them up. That mix looks pretty thick. What are you going to do next? All right. Yes, you're right. This is way too thick. This is our first break up the lump stage. Now what we do is we start adding a bit of cool water. So I'll add three small scoops of cool water to start with. And what we're doing now is we're starting to try and dilute down the mix from that thick peanut butter look down to a mix that we can feed. What consistency are you aiming for? What I'm looking for is a mix that will drip through the prongs of my fork. And so I'm mixing away here and every now and then I pick it up, look at it, and I'm waiting for it to be able to drip through the prongs. Not just drip off the fork, but through the prongs. And the mix I've got there is still too thick, so I'm going to have to add a little more water. I'm going to add a bit of that and because I need it a little warmer. I'm going to okay. So we keep going now. Now you're starting to see that it's becoming runnier. Now remember, I'm looking for it so it'll go through the prong. This is getting very close. Go through the prong. There we go. So it's running through the prongs of the fork now. Now if I had a bird that was let's say seven days to a fortnight old, that's beautiful. That's perfect. That's what I want. If he's a little bit older, right, when they're really starting to grow, that's marginally, marginally too thin. What do you do when that happens? Okay, so all we do then is, back to our little scoop, we get a little bit more powder, and we just sprinkle a tiny bit of powder in there, and just remix. Same process though, notice the process doesn't change. It's up, squeeze it through the prongs of the fork as you go. There we go. That now is exactly what I want for a slightly older bird. Look, it's not critical, right? provided it just drips through the prongs of the fork, but you'll find that with experience that those older birds prefer it at about that consistency. So how are you going to feed it from there? Well, I'm a bit of a fan of the crop needle and the syringe. So what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do before I pick up my feeding syringe is check my temperature. Remembering that a baby bird's temperature is about 40 to 41 degrees C, I want to make sure that I don't feed it too cold. So thermometer in, check the temperature. Temperature is about anywhere between about 38 and 40 is fine. Once you've checked your temperature, then feeding syringe. Quick, easy way to do it. Pull the back, don't try and suck it up, it's too hard. Pull the back off it. Drop it into the syringe. So if I were feeding a cockatiel or a smaller bird, that's more than enough. 
Um, put the back on your feeding syringe. Then you've got your crop needle and you're away to go. If you're spoon feeding, just straight out of the bowl, you'll be right. So what can you do with the leftover mixture? Look, my opinion, you wash it away. You don't use it. I, I mix fresh from the bag every time. Some people will tell you, yes, you can keep mixes in the refrigerator. Yes, you can, but in my opinion, it just adds a layer of risk to the feeding process that you don't need. So wash it away, start again. You've got a bag full of NeoCare, there's no drama. The, in the dry form, the NeoCare is really stable. It's not a problem. When you add moisture to it, you allow bugs, bacteria to begin to grow. So it's just easier, wash it away, start again.